channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing a mermaid makeup tutorial. I'm being a mermaid for Halloween, so I need to get some practice in. And, um, don't mind my hair. It's a mess. I need a shower. Um, but instead, I'm going to be filming for you guys. So, if you want to see how to get a mermaid makeup look, just keep on watching. So, first, I'm going to prime my eyes with my Tarte Shape Tape. I'm in the color Light Medium. And I'm just going to prime my eyes to get this look started. Okay, so I zoomed you guys in. Sorry if you see my mirror. I don't know if you guys will. Um, yeah, it's like right here. I am sorry. But I zoomed you guys in so we can start on the eyes. I'm going to be using two different palettes and a couple different colors I'm sorry you can just definitely use whatever you have in your collection so I'm gonna be using some Mac shadows color pop I'm using this makeup forever palette the 15 artist shadow one and just it has a bunch of shimmer shades if I can open it and it just has a bunch of pretty Shimmer shades. I'm really excited. I'm going to use this teal one today. So there's that we're going to be using. We're also going to be using the Jaclyn Hill palette because there are some really fun colors to work with. Oh, I'm also going to be using my Lorac Pro matte palette um, just to use this bare color to set my eye. Alright, so I'm just applying this bare color all over the lid to set down that concealer so it's not sticky and we have a nice smooth application. And my face is like going crazy right now. I don't know why. Um, palette, I'm going to take Ma Pink Mauve, which is this really nice pinky mauve color. I'm going to use that as a transition color. I'm going to take this purple shade and it's called Purple Haze by MAC. It's like a really nice light toned purple and I'm gonna start I think I'm gonna apply this all over the lid and bringing it up in um, to my crease so it's very like subtle you gonna have to definitely rub your brush in it a couple times <laughs> Cosmetics 5th edition palette, the 120 eyeshadows. And it has a nice purple. It has a bunch of purple. So I'm just going to take some of these purples in here and put that on the lid. Oh, there we go. <laughs> this color pop in the shade Beverly and put this on the outer corner. We're going to go back in with our transition shade brush and we're going to blend like everything out. The lid, we're going to blend that into the crease and we're going to blend the crease into the lid. So 
that's the base we have going on right now. And we're gonna move on to I think shimmer shades. Take the Jaclyn Hill palette first. I think that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm actually going to take my Mac 217 brush. Just a fluffy brush, blending brush. And I'm going to take this teal color, the matte one that she has in this palette. And I'm going to focus that on the outer corner and the inner corner of my eye. To give um, that like halo effect. effect kind of going on here I'm not sure if I'm gonna use the Jaclyn Hill palette for the shadows or this makeup for everyone um, just because they have more vibrant colors in this one so this one let me see the purple I might use the purple in the Jaclyn Hill palette but I'm not sure yet so I'm just gonna set that one aside and we're gonna start moving on to shimmer so I'm gonna take a flat definer brush let me find like the perfect one no, because I need like a really precise little one and I can't seem to find it. Here we go. So I'm going to take this like really tiny, 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 tiny flat definer brush and I'm going to spray it with some Fix Plus. And I'm going to pick up, what do I want to do first? I think I'm going to do teal in the center, purple, and then blue. So I'm going to take the teal color first. I'm just going to focus this right in the center here. Mm. Let me like, I gotta like pick up so much on my brush. There we go. Whoa. Okay. I see you. <laughs> swirl your brush in it a little bit if you have this palette just so you can like pick up a lot of product here we go on to this purple and I'm gonna put that on in the inner corner. I don't know if this is shimmery or not. I don't think it is. Uh, it's like kind of shimmery. It's like more on the matte side. So we're gonna have to add a little bit of shimmer. Now I'm going to go into the Jaclyn Hill palette. Sorry, I put it on the floor. And I'm going to take that shimmery purple shade that she um, created in this palette. And I'm going to apply that on top. thing using both of the blues in these both of these palettes taking this nice like navy blue and I'm gonna apply that on the outer corner now Uh, 
have a ton of fallout. As you can see, and before I move on, I'm gonna actually take a different flat definer brush and apply that teal because it's kind of getting lost, which happens, so you just gotta reapply. So now we're gonna go into that blue shade. I think it's called like Royal or something in the Jaclyn Hill palette. And we're gonna apply that, ooh, yes, right on top. Okay, so I'm applying the teal in the Jaclyn Hill palette on top to make it a little bit more vibrant and just to blend everything together and I really 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 like it I'm actually really impressed with myself I'm not very creative at all and no like at all like I'm not creative at all so I'm like really impressed with myself Take the transition brush. We're gonna take that transition shade again, and we're just gonna sweep it on the top here to blend out any harsh lines. So I'm actually gonna do eyeliner right now. We're gonna see how well it comes out. I'm gonna take this Ben Wild Mega Liner and um, let me clean up the eye just a little bit more. So I went and cleaned up my eye so we have a nice um, a nice sharp line liner is not my specialty neither is putting on fake lashes so sorry if it gets a little blurry or you can't see but I just gotta try my best here <laughs> got this it's the Glossier Priming Moisturizer I used it once and I like really really liked it um, so that's what we're gonna be using today to prime the skin Invincible. <laughs> Since we're mermaids, we want that healthy glow, so I'm going to be using my Lumi Cushion found oh, sorry, my Lumi Cushion Foundation. And I'm going to be applying that with my Beauty Blender. have some pimples we um, need to cover up so I'm actually gonna be taking if I can find it my wet and wild photo focus concealer I'm in the color light medium beige first I'm applying that under the eye eyes actually down the nose to highlight Cupid's bow. And this little blemish. I'm in my We're gonna apply the highlight which is just a cream highlight, the one that I always use by Benefit, the Watts Up. I'm gonna heat it, warm the product up on my finger, and apply that. We want a lot of highlight for this look, cause we are mermaids and we do glow. 
contour and I'm gonna be using my wet and wild mega contouring palette in Dol Dolce de Leche and just gotta grab my brushes I'm sorry they're all the way over here sorry if it goes all out of focus real quick up my skin with my butter bronzer favorite bronzer of all time like favorite of all time and it smells so good it smells like you're on a tropical island So for blush, I'm going to take my Physician's Formula Happy Booster Blush. And one second. And because it has like a little bit of sparkle in it, so that's what we're going to be using for blush. Highlight, we are going to use Opal by Becca. Okay, so I'm so sorry my like camera died and I had to wait for the battery to load or to charge. So I did my brows ready and I applied my false eyelashes and I used the Cosmic Lashes. I have a discount code with them. You can get 20% off. But these are the Angelica and I used their lash glue. It's one of my favorite lash glues of all time. It definitely stuck and it didn't take me that long, which I'm really impressed. So... so now we're going to move on to like the skills, not skill, the scales. Oh my god, I can't. And we're going to be using the shirt I'm wearing for Halloween somehow. We'll figure this. We'll figure it out. And the palettes that we use to create the eyeshadow look. So I'm just going to like put this over my face like this while I go so I'm just gonna go back into all those like shimmery shades um, in all the different palettes is there like a way maybe I can like tape it no okay so I'm just gonna hold this like this oh wait oh my god I'm so done let me put it on my head like but like backwards so this is what you're supposed to do I think I don't know I see videos all the time so this is gonna look really weird but oh perfect wait it's catching my eyelashes okay oh no my eyelashes are gonna come off because of this and we're just gonna Start blending away here. Here we go. It's not like what I wanted it to come out like, 
I just think that the net, the fish net, was just not working, but I do have some glitter, and I'm going to actually apply some. Okay, so what I did with my lips was take um, all the shades on my lid, put them to my lips, and take some glitter. So... This is the final look. So that completes this tutorial. I hope you guys really enjoyed and for all of you mermaids out there for Halloween, I hope this tutorial can help you guys out. Um, I would recommend getting fishnets, not using a shirt because one, you'll ruin the shirt. Two, it like, it works, but um, it could have been a little bit better. So, I hope you guys really enjoyed. And give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Invincible.